Hi, I'm Kirsten Wise. I'm an extension plant pathologist at the University of Kentucky. And today we're in one of our research trials to talk about a project that we have with the National Predictive Modeling Tool Initiative. And this is a USDA project where we're looking at how we can better link the amount of fungal spores that cause corn diseases with the amount of disease that actually develops on the plant in order to provide better management to farmers. And I'm gonna walk you through what we're doing out here today so that you can understand what we're trying to look at with our research and how we can get that information into the hands of farmers so they can make improved management decisions. So one of the goals of this research is to actually determine how much of the inoculum or the fungal spores that cause corn diseases are actually out in the air and does that translate into disease on the plant. So we have two ways that we measure how many fungal spores are out in the environment. And we do that through what we call spore traps. And here we have two different types of spore traps. Now I staged these so that you could see them sort of in the same video, but out in the field, these are gonna be more spread out and at similar heights. What we're looking at is with our homemade spore trap, we have a battery, a little motor, and on these slides, they're coated with Vaseline. And it spins, and as it spins, any fungal spores that are in the air are gonna get stuck on that Vaseline. And then after a week, we'll change these out. We'll take those slides back to the lab and scrape that Vaseline off. And then we'll look for the DNA of the organisms that cause some of our corn diseases. And we can test to see how much is there. And then we'll relate that to how much disease is on the plant. Now, another spore trapping method that we're using is one of our cyclone spore samplers. And this is a little bit fancier way to measure how many spores are out there. And so each week, this is going to sample a specified amount of air. It actually pulls a sample of the air and it goes into a little tube. And so when we pull out each week, we'll change that tube out. Again, we'll swab the inside of the tube and then test it in the lab for the DNA of the organisms that cause our corn diseases. Now, while we're taking, we're taking spore samples, we're also rating our corn plants that you can see behind us. And we're gonna be rating these for foliar diseases, um, whatever diseases are out here. In Kentucky, gray leaf spot is gonna be a primary disease of concern, but also diseases like southern rust and our newest disease in Kentucky, tar spot. We're looking for all of these on the leaf. And as you can see, here's gray leaf spot, which we have out here quite a bit this year. It's one of our diseases, you know, that fungus is going to infect and then that lesion is going to progress um, parallel to the leaf veins, sort of spreading out as the infection progresses. So you can see it'll start with very small lesions and then over time those lesions expand with the leaf veins. Now, gray leaf spot, along with some of these other diseases, can be very yield limiting. And so it's important that we're able to correlate, you know, the amount of the spores that we see in the air with how much disease we have on the plant. Now our goal with all of these data is to put it into some models so that we can better predict how disease develops. So we will collect all these data and it'll be combined with our colleagues data from other states that are doing the same project and our hope is that we can create national data sets that we can use to develop predictive models that will help farmers understand better how disease develops and whether or not they would need a fungicide application and potentially when to time that application for better disease control.